Friday the 16th of October. <laughs> I was going to say November. <laughs> I got the day wrong already, but uh, it's Friday, definitely Friday, no Monday. I'm out with Sinclair and we're going to meet Mick, Pete and Jill and uh, what's the name of the other guy? John, 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 Shields. John, John Shields, I've never met him. So, there he is, the man himself, you can see him. So we're going to meet Mick at the borders. Border, he's straight up. Straight up there, maybe about an hour's hike. An hour's hike, but as you can see, it's up the way we're going, so. It'll be a nice wee, nice wee hike to get the, get the juices flowing. <laughs> right, that'll, that's the intro over. How fit we are? Aye, uh, no very. I'm the same. When you get doing something during the week, see you're just sitting down mm. in front of the computer. Yep. <coughs> Trips are going to get harder in the winter. You know, things are only going to get harder if it's, if it's soft snow. That's it's murder. Better. Hiking through that. It would be better than this. Oh, Here's another wee sweep, folks. It's my first time in the borders. And who look who we've bumped into. Hello. And there's Mick. The wild chief you'd go it. Exactly. And the thumbering wild man. You think he's going to be carrying us up? Although he's got a sore shoulder, so that's yeah, the question there. Yeah. You thought you might have got, we might have got a carry, cow, cool carry up, but... You've yeah, got a curry back, eh? A curry back, aye. Marker. Border control. There's the, there's the two there's the two border control workers. I'm going to sneak past them. <laughs> uh, welcome to Mexico. Yeah. Welcome to Mexico. Uh, that's us in England, Northumberland. Beautiful folks. It's own character, obviously, you know, you know the Highlands, it's own charm and beauty. Probably no seeing very much with the camera, but as I say, this is achieving so my second time in Camden in England. I've been to the Lake District once. Ooh, why are these There's the three rucksacks. The mine's in the middle and all that rubbish in the middle of me and Sinclair's, that's all my gear. <laughs> As you can uh, Mr. Mr. Untidy. Yep. Right enough, Sinclair, you're, a, you're the same, Mick. How are you? I've never used you. I think you're neat. No. Oh, yeah, you're untidy as well. Yeah. You're, I thought you were organised. I on the, the bigger tent. Aye. Aye. But I was always untidy in the little one. Aye. You start to make excuses for yourself. Aye. <laughs> Plenty of space. I, I'm the worst. I just throw everything about. The more Aye. space I get. I'm just never, I'm never organised. I don't know where nothing is. I didn't understand it. Well, I do. But the thing is, I didn't know anybody that isn't properly organised in these situations. Aye. My mate comes up the more. He said he might get pop up. He's Aye. the most organised camper I've ever seen. Unbelievable how organised he was. That's a that's a long while camp. That I used to walk with him when I worked at the factory. Yeah, a few years ago, and then uh, he 
got a chance again on a scheme where he, like hill farming, but he had to move to Wooler, right. but there wasn't any accommodation. So the farmer let him pitch his tent. So he lived in his tent till he, till he got the, the cottage become available. He's got the cottage now. There you go, that's a real whale camp, six months. Ah, that's what we want. Six month whale camp. In the winter, I let him move it into the barn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had to tend up in the barn. You got a bigger rucksack. <laughs> Six months. <laughs> oh, he's a lad who uh, went across Fisher Field by himself, right up there, uh, where we went to Slay up. Went oh, right, right. Aye. Aye. Well, Aye. Not to Slay, he went way north into Fisher Field. Jealous of that route, eh? Just, on his, just by himself. I don't know if you want to go. No, I want to get some help. I picked him up four days later. Here I am. Sat there for a while. But we've decided to hike up and try and meet uh, Pete and Jill. We're not going to go that far, but just maybe 10 15 minutes and hopefully we'll meet them and then we'll cut across that way to that, that direction. Somewhere up there we'll be camping. So. There you go, back across the border. Just heading down the path, as I said. Hopefully, within, uh, well, hopefully within the next hour, uh, hopefully, the, you know, within a half an hour maybe, we'll, we'll at least see uh, Pete and Gillian. Yes, Pete. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, all right. Hello. Eddie, lovely nice to meet you. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. Sweet. Mick. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh. Oh, what's oh, the burglar? Right. 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 Yeah. That's Joe. Oh, Burg. he's been here long? Yeah. No one half. No, Mick, we've been about on a half five. Yeah, but see, about half an hour. I had a couple of tea yeah. in that. Yeah. That's Joe. Yeah, Nick. You know what I have. Hi. Well done, Gil. How are you, John? Take your time, Gil. Take a break. You're in candid camera already. Who says walking gets your feet? It slowly kills you, I think. There you go. That's the gang of five, mate. Hello. Hello. No, no. Not our leggies, can't I? Yes, yes. My own as per usual. There's our pitch folks, six tents for five people. The tent on the left is the disco tent, the orange tent is Pete. My tent uh, is the nearest. You should know Green's, uh, Sinclair's Green, MSR Hubba Hubba. <laughs> Jillian's got the Abisco 1. Mine's is the Abisco 2 and Mick has got the Grid Plus 
which is the same as the Pete's tent but with the porch, the extended porch. That's the way you would head up obviously if you're doing the Pennine way. I'm starting from that end obviously. And then up. And then up that way. It's about six o'clock folks. We decided to go a hike. Me, Pete and Mick. Just a wee shot hike up this hill. Sinclair and Jill are saving themselves for tomorrow. That's just at the top of this hill. 410 metres. It's something to heat us up a wee bit. I think we were getting cold just Standing about camp, we're going to get freezing. That's how heat is up. since I've been out and I've had some, you know, I've had some good laughs when I've been out already, you know, especially with Sinclair. But that was the, that, for me that was the best one. <coughs> Just going to take it easy this morning, the first couple of hours. As you can see it's a wee bit, uh, a wee bit claggy, but what I'm looking at, it looks like it might clear. The forecast is for it to be better later on, so that's what we're hoping for. So, I can see Sinclair did something. There he goes. Right, I'll switch off for now. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Half eleven. As you can see, we're almost ready to leave. So we'll be leaving about 15 20 minutes. We're hiking up. Hiking up. That way. Hiking up the way, no, I think we're, we're looping round. I think we're going round that way. We went a wee walk at night. Well, me, Pete and Mick and we went straight up and then back round and climbed over there, the barbed wire fence to get back here. But I think we're either heading straight up or I'm pretty sure we're snaking round that direction anyway for the second night. Good place to camp. Right, folks, that's us. We're on our way. Mick trying to do some repairs with the pole. <laughs> post repairs. Yeah, uh, post repairs. 
abandoned. And up on our wee hill, uh, I think it's, I think it's Windy Hill, or no, sorry, Windy Gale, I think uh, we're walking up. And that's where we came from. Down that way, and then up on another wee hill. And you can't see it now. Disappeared in the mist. This is our pitch for the second night. See the weather forecast didn't turn out right. It's supposed to be sunny, sunny and clear. Mist and rain. Sinclair and Joe, they're in Sinclair's tent and it's a lovely day as I said, it wasn't the forecast He's shooting Sinclair, He's shooting me means we can just take the cars, travel light and uh, do it's on. Get there early in the morning. We're all in Sinclair's tent again, that's the favourite tent for. <laughs> well, it is the biggest tent actually. Nest wise, it's Hello. the biggest tent. Yeah. Hello. What are you getting you? you probably will, it's a very. You know Licky Licky? I like Licky Licky. You know Licky Licky? I like Licky Licky. I like Licky Licky. I like Licky Licky. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no way you don't have me licky. Uh, <laughs> right, me and Mick's going to head down to this stream and get oh, some water. So oh, if you want your water bottles filled, give us a little. That's where we camped, all the way up there. We walked right down, down, obviously here. There's a sheep, uh, sheep pen, I suppose. <laughs> it was dry there for five minutes, but as soon as I get the camera out, it starts to rain. That's Pete and Mick deciding or trying to think about the best place to get water.
Right, mission accomplished. We found water. Found water. Peach. Achieve it, water. Spring water. Alright dude? No, it's got need taste at all, like no. The wee break in the mist. The sun came through there for about a minute and a half. But at least I don't know if it's gonna clean up or it's gonna be clean up. Hopefully it'll clean up. Certainly wind's no dying down, but I think the wind's getting stronger. Everybody's tent's fine. Splits, the tent. Yeah, a lot of the desperate as you see. Yeah, Sinclair's making the, he's making the tea and the coffee for everybody. Yeah, that's mine, mate. Aye, tea, everything's in it. Yes. You take tons each and making the tea and that, as it should be, and making the dinner. Everybody helps each other. No prima donnas. Camera club here as well when they go out. We were here, yeah, amateur filmmaker club as well as wild camping. I was just saying, we're, we're like a wee bit of yeah, amateur film club when we get together as well. Get the cameras out. Sun's coming out. Fantastic. Still a bit cold with the wind. But sun's out at last. John, the foreground, and Alan, the background. They've just arrived. In my tent, you'll see my Trans your yeah. one. It's an, it'll be an extra yep. thing. Oh, well, yeah. This is a cook tent, as well as a disco oh. tent. <laughs> Is that 
Oh, yeah, I know. 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 Oh, yeah, I Right, we just need to get it to split. Are you putting that in there? Put the packets in the new day, the ravioli next to oh, Are you happy now? Are you happy? Yeah. Are you wanting to do that with that sausage? I, I don't know. Is anybody uh, you think that's enough or what? Was that's it? enough, I think. You can always. Ah, oh, it'll probably be enough. Keep that sausage in. Yeah. If Mac's good to you, oh. you can get it the night for you. Definitely. Oh, oh. Give me personal oh. amusement. Oh. You know that, mate. Yeah. Well, I'm easily amused. Right, we need to. Uh, Sorry, I'm my tin. Alright. Well, I, I chopped my coals. Looks like you attacked it to the end first. Then what shall we do? Yeah. Always work Do you have a lapse of concentration there, Sinclair? Uh, yeah. Just give me your cut, that's also the other one's getting a bit worried. It's getting dark and scary. Yeah. Right folks, that looks and smells absolutely Beautiful. delicious. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. So there you go, disco tent and the cook tent. Absolutely. Missed, Missed again. Right, Jill, yours go. Another one coming with it. Mm -hmm. Do you want it? Mm -hmm. There's an aperitif. Aperitif, sorry. There it is. There it is. All in one pot. Cream. Sausage casserole. Sausage casserole it is. It's going to be great. Will they have a wee nibble of that? Do you want to put that camping stove out there and put that down there? Mm. Put that on its side. So it's going to, uh, What's what are you doing when you're on the table? I know. <laughs> so I'm just going to chop it in half. Right. I'll chop it in a bit, actually. Just straight up. Mm. 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 And there we are. Oh, flip. Mmm, oh. peppers as well. Mmm? You can smell the pepper in it. I need to get us eating it. I need to get, I need to get every day. Thank you very Roughing much, it. gentlemen, for cooking. Lovely. You're welcome. Delicious. Right, folks. There, there it is. Absolutely delicious. Great stuff. It's a bastardos. Bastardos special. Load it, man. Load it. Oh, yeah, that's an equalised. Equaliser. It goes dark. When you first put it on, it just goes dark and then it's a Hey man, I'm an in. afro dizziac. <laughs> You're an afro dizziac, yeah. I'm an afro dizziac. <laughs> Next thing I'll be getting hate mail for that as well, man. Oh, you will be. You'll be getting a dislike. God, they're, they're shutting down their channels because of me. You understand? It's your fault. A guy, a guy, uh, I tell you, I was supposed to have sub that what he calls a hate channel and he unsub for me and shut his channel down and everything oh, I must have destroyed his life <laughs> Sunday morning 8am see the weather hasn't changed it just seems 
Excuse me, this is the weather up here. Or this is probably, I don't know, pretty typical weather. Quite a tent community going on. I'll let you have a look. Island Terra Nova Voyager and John's got a Terra Nova Polar Light Someone has arisen. There he is. <laughs> Have a close up of that. Today. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. Bunty Nora. Yeah. Face like a well scared ass. What do you get, buddy? We don't know what we do here, like <laughs> Yeah. How did you sleep? Oh, I laid out like a light. Right? So did I, that's no bad for me, it was amazing. To so actually go to pretty much fall asleep. Well skilled there. Aye. Is that how I feel? <laughs> well, I don't want to carry any more. Aye, I'm a... You want a flashhead, kid? No, dude. Oh, I'm making the tea and the uh, hot chocolate this morning. Oh, there's Mike. He's alright, he's no Dana, he's just adjusting himself. Yeah, Talking <laughs> the bits in. Uh, the dangly bits. Oh, there's you know who. Sinclair. Oh, I'll move that in. Right. Uh, I it was there's John up. I'm up to brilliant nicely. Aye, honey, aye. Everybody's up now. Quarter past eleven folks, as you can see, we're just about ready to leave and we're getting great views now as saw so law. We're about to leave and it looks like it's going to be quite a nice day. I'll show you the views because never really got many views uh, yesterday, but basically zero.